What are keywords? This short video will answer that question and get you started on developing keywords to use in your research. Let's continue with our vegetarianism example. We used a concept map to help us think about our topic, which is vegetarianism. We've developed research questions that we want answered about our topic. Now we move on to how we go about finding the answers to those research questions. Step one in the research process is to have a vocabulary that describes what we're looking for. Keywords are the words, phrases, concepts, and ideas that describe your topic. When you googled vegetarianism, what did you put in the search box? Vegetarian? Vegetarians? Vegetarianism? Did you spell it correctly? Those three words are all considered keywords for this topic, as are the terms vegan, pescatarian, they don't eat meat, but they do eat fish, vegetarian nutrition, vegetarian protein, and so on. You have to learn to speak the language when you begin doing research. Computers don't like long, complicated sentences like, does the reason becoming for becoming a vegetarian, e.g. moral, health, environmental, affect one's commitment to the vegetarian lifestyle. The computer likes brief descriptions of what you want, like vegetarian and commitment. Give it a try. Look at your concept map to pick out important or recurring words. Think of any similar words, if you can, like vegan or macrobiotic diet, instead of vegetarian. This is the part you should use Google for. Read a Wikipedia article just for keyword ideas to help you describe your topic. In the next few modules, you'll get to try out your keywords when searching different sources, so make a big list. Different research sources use different types of searching. Library catalogs and library subscription databases use what is called controlled language searching to find things for you. What that means is that somebody, like the Library of Congress, has created a list of terms that describe different subjects, and those are the accepted terms for using when searching for those subjects. Like, if you were searching for articles on the death penalty, you could also call that capital punishment. The fun part is that you don't necessarily know what the proper words are for your topic, so you may have to use different ones in different sources to get good information. Using effective keywords is important, but so is spelling. The computer is going to claim to find nothing when you misspell a word in the search box. If you need help with keywords, you can always ask a librarian. We're here to help.